I'm Mr. B and today we're talking about brake bleeding, okay? So uh, occasionally we have to bleed the brakes on any of the cars that we work on, uh, whether it be, you know, we're braking into the hydraulic system, replacing calipers, master cylinders, hoses, uh, things like that, or just routine maintenance, you know, I recommend replacing the brake fluid every two years, 20,000 miles or so. And so normally we do this using a flush machine in the field. So I have a flush machine behind me here. It is, uh, you know, they, they sell for about three to $5,000 on the market and they're really good. They, they pump out these cars. I can flush a brake system in 15 minutes on these, uh, with these machines. But if you're at the house, you probably don't want to go out and put as much money uh, as I got in my machine. So I'm gonna show you how to make a self brake bleeder uh, for less than $5. So you can go to a hardware store and get some tubing and find some things around the house. I'm gonna show you how you can do this by yourself. Now, uh, we've, we've seen the one man brake bleeders out there. They got the bottle and the hose that goes in the bottle and everything else. And they're kind of clumsy to use and you have to get in and out of the car to pump the brakes and things like that. So I'm gonna show you how to make this tool uh, and it's almost free and it does a whole lot of the work for you and you're just sitting there and you're pumping this thing and getting the air out of your system you're not having the only thing you really have to worry about is uh, filling the brake system up with fluid when you are pumping it so make sure that your uh, master cylinder is full way before you start this and I have my 2017 Volkswagen Jetta GLI here and I've got the wheel off and the caliper exposed but first I'm gonna show you what you're gonna to need to build this tool and how to build this tool. okay so this is what you're gonna need I got this uh, this clear tubing here and I got it from uh, Lowe's but I'm sure you can get this from any place uh, this is uh, inner diameter is 0.170 inches or quarter inch 20 foot long you don't need nearly this much okay this is just the smallest roll I can buy and then I have some a little bit larger tubing this right here is going to be quarter inch inner diameter and three eighths on the outer okay and this is 10 feet long again you're not going to need this much i'm going to show you how much you need um, i have some zip ties here in case uh, you need to keep things on there just a little bit tighter and then i have a spray bottle now it does not have to be a windex this works for me um, so what but you're not going to need the whole bottle you're just going to need the sprayer part so we're going to take this off here we're just going to need a sprayer part and we're going to need the straw to the sprayer part which is right here so i'm going to go ahead and just take this off screen don't worry about this we're not going to need this actually it works better if you you know have something that that the uh you know is empty or something like that it can be you know furniture cleaner um uh, anything like that i've even seen uh where you can use uh the pump for hand sanitizers or soap or anything like that you just need a pump okay and so we're going to use this pump to draw a vacuum on the brake bleeder so I've taken this straw out and we're gonna need to cut it because it's a little too long this way. If we put the hose on here, it is going to be uh, too long and it's gonna take too much effort for this fluid to go up through here. So if I just put it up here real short, we keep it close. We'll go ahead and just put this back in here. And we have our tubing right here so this is the tube that we're going to use just to connect this to that we're just using this as a connector so I'm gonna go ahead and just take a razor blade you can use a pocket knife or something like that and just take you know two inches or so and I'm going to slide this right here about a half inch on there and all I'm doing is making a connector now I want to use clear hose because I want to be able to see the brake fluid come out of the car so I put this on there Give it a little twist if i need to which i don't need to with this if i need to i can use a zip tie and put this around here to make sure it's tight on there and it doesn't get any air in here we don't want any air in here so use zip tie you can use uh shrink tubing uh something like that just to make sure that this doesn't um you know cause any air leak so i'm gonna take about i don't know a little less than a foot i'd say about nine inches or so and cut this and then we're going to take this and we're going to put this in here okay so as I put this in here again this is going to be airtight make sure you don't crimp it or anything like that and now we have taken this 
and we've made basically our tool. This is what we need. The only thing else we're going to need is, of course, our brake fluid, which I'm using uh, the uh, correct brake fluid for the vehicle. And we'd need a wrench, of course, to uh, remove the bleeder and uh, a pan or something so we can spray this uh, and use this to remove the brake uh, fluid from the car if we need to, like if we're doing a flush or something like this. So uh, next step, we're gonna walk over to the car and I'm gonna show you how to use this. Okay, so here is our caliper and I've got our bleeder just finger tight right there. And so I'm gonna loosen it up a little bit, let it drip. And I'm putting this right here. And you'll start to see it fill up. Very careful, I'm pumping this up. And you'll see it starting to move. And as it starts to move, once it primes through here, you'll start to see it starting to pull more and more fluid out. And with that, this will start spraying. And you wanna spray this into a container. I'm gonna stop before it actually sprays, but this will prime all the way up and you can spray this out into a jar, a container, uh, something like that. And you'll be able to bleed the brakes off very easily using this and you can bleed out as much as you want to. I do recommend keeping track of how much fluid that you're bleeding off because you don't want to run the master cylinder dry. So always check in between wheels and make sure that you top up the fluid and make sure that you're still getting your air bubbles through here. When the air bubbles stop, that's when you pretty much know you're going to be bled out. So easy, you know, just takes a little bit of uh, pumping of this. And once you get this done, again, you don't have to go in and out of the car. Uh, it's something really easy that you can do and uh, just make sure that you keep your master cylinder full, okay? Okay, everybody, just don't forget to tighten up your bleeders and don't forget to top off your fluid after you're done with this. And definitely safety first and dispose of your fluid in a responsible manner. You wanna recycle this stuff the same place that you recycle oil. So keep that in mind when you're doing your repair. So if you learned anything from this video, please give me a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers for the end of the year. So that's a real big milestone that I've got. Also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, VK, uh, just about anywhere and on my YouTube channel. So hopefully you got everything bled out. Leave me.